Hello, good morning, students. As we know that we have done the chapters that is like uh, the first chapter we have done was the integers, then fraction and the decimals. Then we have done the exponents and the powers. And now let's start the new chapter and the new chapter that is chapter number seventh of your NCRT book that is congruency of triangles. This is a new chapter in your syllabus, congruency of triangles. And what do you mean by the term congruency? Before we start the chapter, let's take this term to understand the concept. What do you mean by the term congruency? Congruency क्या होता है? इसको हम कहाँ use करते हैं? Daily life में इसका हमारा क्या importance है? Basically, congruency is the term that means exactly the same. In simple language, we can say that means exactly the same. Exactly the exactly the same means identical. Identical means you can see. Any shape, or you can see any figures you can have, or you can have a two fifty rupee notes of the same denominations of the same currencies. You can say they are exactly the same, or you can see you are having a notebook in which all the pages are identical to each other. Their length, their breadth, or or you can say their dimensions are similar to each other. Or you can say are, are like each other. So they are called identical in shape. Or you can say in the size. So basically, what we are saying here, congruency is basically means when two or more than two things are exactly identical to each other. Exactly identical to each other. We said they are congruent to each other. They are congruent to each other. Congruent. Congruent to each other. See one example. If I have drawn a square, this is first. That is four centimeter of the dimension, and we know that all the lengths of the square are equal, or the sides of the square will be of four centimeter. And we have to have drawn another square that is also four centimeter. And here, as you know, that in square all the sides are equal. So these figures, first and second figures, you can say these figures are identical to each other. Their sides are same. Their perimeter will be the same. Their area will comes out to be the same. So we can say. Figure one and figure two both are squares and of the dimensions four centimeter. So they are congruent to each other. So they are congruent to each other. So this is the basic meaning of the term congruency. Means exactly the same or identical in shape, size, area, or perimeter. Now, as the name suggests, the chapter is congruency of triangles. Congruency of triangles means how triangles can be congruent to each other. And as we know that this is a triangle. This is the triangle. In the triangle, as we know that how many sides are there? One, two, and three. The triangle A, B, and C. Clear? And how many angles are there? Angle one. Angle two and angle three. Side one, side two, and side three. So six basically. The six important things are, you can say, the six important dimensions. You can say the three sides and the three angles in a given triangle. So basically, six are the important things in a given triangle in which three are the sides and three are the angles. Now, we are talking about the congruency of triangles, and just like I have discussed and I have explained, what do you mean by the term congruency? Congruency means exactly the same or the identical figures. So this is one triangle, and in case of making the congruency, we need at least two because we have to see the similarity in, or we we have to see the identicalness in at least two of the figures. So this is the first triangle, and let's draw one more triangle. That is P, here, R. Okay, and here the one side. This is the second side, and this is third side. First angle, second angle, and third angle. Now, how can you say that triangles are congruent to each other? You cannot say by seeing your naked eyes that these are uh, equal to each other, to congruent to each other. When triangles will be congruent to each other, then remember the thing. Their sides will be equal. Their angles will be equal. And when their sides and angles will be equal, it means their perimeter and their area will also be equal. Then only we can say that the two triangles are congruent to each other. For the congruency of the triangles, we have certain cases. We have certain criteria, as you can say. Based on those criteria, we can say that the triangles are congruent to each other. Now, what are those criteria, and how will we 
distinguish the four criteria. We have four main criteria. First, S S S. First criteria. Second, S A S. Third criteria, A S A R. There is a sub part of A S A which can be written as A A S. And the fourth one is R H S. And the fourth one is R H S. What do you mean by S S S? What do you mean by S A S A S A and R H S? These are basically the four criteria in order to make two triangles congruent to each other. ओके okay, अब हमने यहाँ पर डिस्कस किया है कि हमारे पास चार क्राइटेरिया ऐसे हैं जो हमें बता सकता है कि ये दो ट्राइंगल्स आपस में कॉन्ग्रेंट हैं एक दूसरे के हम सिर्फ देखकर ही ट्राइंगल्स को कॉन्ग्रेंट नहीं बता सकते हमें बताने के लिए कुछ क्राइटेरिया चाहिए होते हैं जिनके आधार पर जिनके बेसिस पे हम बता सकते हैं कि दो ट्राइंगल्स आपस में कॉन्ग्रेंट है या नहीं है एंड अगेन आई वुड लाइक टू से दैट वेन टू ट्राइंगल्स आर कॉन्ग्रेंट टू इच अदर इट मीन दैट देर ऑल द थ्री साइड विल भी इक्वल देर ऑल द थ्री एंगल्स विल भी इक्वल and their area and parameter will be equal now let's see one by one okay first is sss what is sss sss is side side and side 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 and side what means that let's suppose we have taken two triangles triangle abc and triangle pqr as it is clear to you triangle abc and triangle pqr are the two triangles now in this as we can see that bc is equal to qr because one dash is there ac is equal to pr two dash are there and ab is equal to pq as three dashes are there what it means that bc is equal to qr second ac is equal to pr and third is ab That is equal to P Q, and what is because this is given to us, these two triangles are given to us, and we can say that these three are equal to each other. Okay, three sides are equal to each other. Okay, means B C is equal to this, and why we have taken B C is equal to this? Why not this? Because here one dash is there, and it is also represented one dash. So identically, we can say B C will be equal to this. Similarly, this will be equal to this, and this will be equal to. This. So we can say that B C is equal to Q R. Then AC will be equal to PR and AB will be equal to PQ. So these are the three conditions that is given to us. All the three sides are equal to each other. All the three sides. We are discussing the first criteria that is SS and S side side and side. So what we can say, we can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. Now listen, see here. This is the sign of equality, but you need to see the sign of congruency. So what is the sign of congruence? Of congruency, this is equal to sign, and you can see just draw a tilted sign above the congruence, above the equality. So this becomes the sign of congruency. So here we can write triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR, and the cr uh, criteria is that what criteria we are Discussing here, S S S S S S. All the three sides are equal by the criteria S S and S. By the criteria S S and side side side. It means when the three sides are equal, when the three sides of one triangle is equal to the three sides of the corresponding triangles, or you can say the other triangle, then these two triangles are congruent to each other by the criteria side side and side. So this is the fourth criteria that we have discussed. And one more thing that if we have to write the name of the triangle then you have to write it according to the their corresponding sides for example here what is ab will be equal to pq so here ab will be equal to pq we have to match again whether we have written the uh, name of the triangle correctly or not then bc is equal to q over bc is equal to q over then ac is equal to ac is equal to pr ac is equal to pr so we have to see the positioning of abc and pq work as in order to given what is given to us for example what is given to us we have given the sides are equal to each other so we have to see the positioning of the where while naming the triangles if if i write this like triangle abc is congruent to triangle rqp 
RQB if I write this like if I write like this. Now match A B is equal to PQ. Here positioning of A B is here and PQ is here. So the positioning is not the same. So means we have not done it rightly. So we have to name the triangle after seeing the given conditions and then only we have to give the name of the triangle. So this is the first criteria that we have discussed in the congruency of triangles. Have a look at this first. तो बच्चों आज हमने ये फर्स्ट क्राइटेरिया डिस्कस किया है ट्राइंगल्स का दैट इज साइड साइड इन साइड इन द कमिंग वीडियोज वी विल डिस्कस द अदर थ्री क्राइटेरियाज एज वेल दैट इज एस ए एस ए एस ए एंड आर एच एस इस वीडियो में हमने बेसिक्स किया है तो द होमवर्क आपके लिए यही रहेगा कि दैट यू हैव टू रीड द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द कॉन्ग्रेंसी ऑफ ट्राइंगल्स थैंक यू गॉड ब्लेस यू